Hello everyone, it's Is. Today I'm a little bit sick, but uh, it's been a while since I made a video. So today I'm going to make a review about a product that I recently found. Uh, I think in the US it's called Eva Foam. And this is in a clay form. When it gets dry, it becomes like a foam, like a squishy foam. And I'm going to show you today five different uses that I found that I think they're really interesting for this clay. If you can't find this one, Crayola has a magic clay and it's basically the same thing. So let's get started. The first use I found for this is to repair my cable. This happened a lot with this type of cables. And so I'm going to use it as a protector barrier to prevent it from breaking it more and while I get to buy another one because this cable set a bit expensive for me right now. So I'm just going to wrap a small ball of this clay around the cable and let it dry for 24 hours. Another use for this clay is for making molds out of small pieces of plastic like this one. You just have to wrap the item that you have to make, do want to make the mold out of and just let it dry for 24 hours as well. And that's it, you will have a costume made mold. I think since this is a soft material, maybe you could use it even with acrylic. Um, I I can't try it right now, but one day I will try it and I'll let you know if it actually works with to make acrylic figures. And yeah, this is the second use. The third use I found for this clay is for making doll shoes or any other accessories. And since I love dolls. Um, I think this is a great thing for me, so I can create create different type of shoes and accessories for my dolls. So I just wrapped the leg in this plastic film and just started shaping a, a small ball of this clay around the foot to create a small shoe. Um, I think I'm gonna make a video more detailed for of how I made this shoe, but it I really like the result. You can even take it off. And I was thinking also you can paint it with some nail polish or acrylic paint to give it more details. Moving on, I think this is a great product you can have at home to you fix and repair some other stuff like in this case I used it to repair a, a water leak for my wax heater and uh, it has a small crack there so I'm just gonna put a little bit around this area and let it dry as well and that's it And last but not least, I wanted to experiment and create my very own uh, makeup sponge. It has the same concept of the silly sponge. It doesn't absorb the product. So I wanted to see if this worked in a similar way. I'm going to try it later. But I just grabbed a small ball of the clay and gave this shape, like a triangular shape, to a, be able to reach the nose area and I will show you how it works now. I'm just going to put some liquid makeup on my hand and apply it in the same way that you will do it with the silly sponge and it actually does the job and that's it. I hope you liked the video and let me know in the comments if you have another idea or another suggestion of how to use this clay. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.